Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. It has been quite a while since I flashed a custom ROM onto my Samsung Vibrant, but today I just flashed Eugene's Ginger Clone R2. It is a Froyo based ROM, which is 2.2. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. Alright, so I just rebooted it, so it's your standard uh, lock screen. Alright, so I have not installed any applications onto the phone. This is um, this is just stock uh, Eugene's ROM. So any of these applications, once you flash it onto your phone, it will be on there, even the clock widget. Let's turn down the brightness just a little bit. go back home. Alright, so this is the screen you will see once you flash the ROM. Very smooth transactions. When I first booted up it was just a little bit laggy but that's expected when you flash a new ROM. But you see that there's these in 2.2 there's a whole bunch of new animations. Very smooth if you ask me. Let's go to the app drawer. It's the 3D uh, drawer. Let's see. There you go. Alright. And for me, uh, GPS does work. Um, it works very quickly. Um, maybe it might be using, maybe it's because I've been using my Wi Fi network, but nevertheless, I still have the GPS enabled, so it does use the satellites. And I get very fast um, connections. Alright, so there goes the app drawer. Let's go to the main menu. Alright, so app phone and this is 2.2 right there. It is based off of the JL4 kernel. Because I just flashed this ROM, I'm not 100% sure what the battery life is. Um, but let's go here. Camera. Morning. Yes. Alright, so I have heard that the uh, 1280 by 720 resolution doesn't work correctly, so you would have to use the 720 by 480 resolution. But other than that, that's fine. Let's go to messaging. Let's see. All right, so it's just the standard uh, Android keyboard. I think it's ported from somewhere. Yeah, just the gingerbread port. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but anyways, I think it has the multi-touch, yeah, keyboard. Let's go to the dialer. Still a standard dialer. Um, I think it's from Samsung. Uh, let's see, favorites. Contacts. Alright, and yeah, it's it's taken from the Samsung Vibrant. Video player. Let's see. Avatar trailer. Alright. So, um, so far how I've been using it, it runs very quickly, really snappy. Um, that might change, or hopefully it doesn't change, because this is very quick compared to even the 2.1 ROM, even though the Vibrant isn't even supposed to have 2.2 on it. But I still see that's running very quickly. And let's go to the browser. Let's try some Flash. Um, let's see. Let's just try, let's see, mini clips.
Alright. I'm not 100% sure this is real flash, but whatever. Now I'm using my Wi-Fi network and I'm pretty far from it, so might show that internet's kind of slow. Let's just click that. Uh, browser. Uh, let's see. Let's stop that. I don't want to download it. I want to watch. That's how you would view it. Not 100% sure if that's right or not. But, whatever. That's the browser for you. And uh, it's just a standard browser. Just updated minor things here and there. Let's go to music. It's just, um, I think it's just the uh, normal standard Android um, music player. System manager, let's see what that is. It's just a file manager. Now this is just a clean build. It really doesn't have many of the Samsung um, Galaxy S um, applications on there. Just only a few of them like Task Manager, um, All Share. And that's the only ones I can see from here. And probably the messaging and the phone. Because overall, I think that's still good. <laughs> Better than the standard 2.2 um, for oil. But that's pretty much it. And uh, I do recommend flashing this ROM. Um, all I really had to do from 2.1 to 2.2 is all I did was back up all my ap applications, all my information, all whatever, everything I needed. And then I put the ROM onto the SD card and flash through Clockwork Recovery. Make sure you do an Android backup before. Alright, that's it. Let's power down.